Hey everyone, it's Zoe here. So I've been kind of racking my brain about what video I want to make. I feel like I'm sort of in a video making slump these days. But mostly I'm just doing tag videos and wrap up videos. And I feel like that's a real boring channel if that's all you're doing. So I keep thinking, what discussion video can I do? What rambly talk video can I do? One that's coming to my mind right now is a while back, I can't even remember if it was a video I was doing or a video I was watching or maybe a combination of both. We talk a lot about the uh, awesomeness of being on booktube and the ways it makes us come out of our comfort zone a little bit and broadens our horizons and connection with all the people and there's just so many great things about being on booktube but it made me think one of the cons of being on booktube, one of the things that kind of makes me a little bit crazy and I feel like other people have this struggle too is that there's so much happening that we feel like we got to do all the things. And we feel like if we're not doing everything with everyone, then we're missing out the, that FOMO thing, right? The FOMO thing in booktube is real, I feel like. And I struggle with it a lot. Every month there's like, I don't know, five at least different monthly themes you could participate in. Uh, and you see all the other booktubers talking about it and you especially like the popular ones you see the popular ones going oh let's we're doing this thing in this month and then you're like oh i want to participate and then but then you're seeing maybe some of the not so popular booktubers saying hey we're doing this thing this month and then you're like oh i want to participate because you want to support the ones that aren't quite so popular and trying to do their thing and you know make a name for themselves and and support their passion or whatever it is and then then you start feeling a little stress and add that to your own goals like for me it's the book club read every month maybe some personal goals of like you know getting through your your owned books or um you know reading ya for a particular month or or the big book summer i guess those are all booktube events also but you you add all this together every month can be like ooh, and then you are losing the fun of reading i feel like we have to find a balance and this this was the same problem when i was blogging because there was a lot of blogging events also that you wanted to participate in i don't know i don't know exactly what the balance is the obvious answer is that you just pick and choose which ones really interest you uh, sometimes I think it's great, though, to do something that's a little bit out of your comfort zone, because I was just talking about that, how booktube makes you do things you might not normally do or read things you might not normally read. So maybe there's a, an event that you're like, hey, I wouldn't normally do this, but with, like, if I read it with a bunch of people, if I participate in this event with a bunch of people, maybe it would be really fun. So I guess it's just a matter of picking and choosing and then not worrying about what you're missing out on with the other events that you choose not to do. I try, but I still look at all everybody talking about the fun things they're doing. Like, what was it? Oh, the, the horror one. Is that one, is that one in May? Horror one in May I didn't do. And then there's a Western one in June I didn't do. And then there's the Garb August that everybody seems to be doing in August, which I didn't do. And there's the Victoria November one. I can't even remember how to say all these ones. Oh, what's the name of that one? The November, that November one, which I'm like, oh, that would be fun, but I'm not, I can't, I just can't do all of those things. There's nonfiction November, which I would love to do, but I don't think I'm going to even worry about that this year. People read spooky books in October, and I decided to read House of Leaves for my October book, and it, I barely got started. We're halfway through October. So it's like, I just feel like, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to do all the things and it's really hard sometimes. Then it can make you feel like, at least for me, it makes me feel like I'm failing in my goal to connect with everyone if I can't figure out how to do all the things and participate in all the events. So, oh, and then there's the other, there's like the buddy reads and then there's like people are hosting their own book clubs on YouTube and I'm just, I just want to read all the things with everyone. So I don't know. I wonder what you guys do. Let me know what you guys do to deal with this FOMO and the stress that it causes you if you feel that. And, you know, the other thing is, 
I was mentioning on another video, I think, is the desire to jump in the game, jump on the wagon, jump in the game, and host something too. Like, I'm sure I could think of some a monthly thing that I would love to host. Do you think anybody would participate? Probably not, because there's so many other things. So it's like, if you add to the craziness, yeah, I mean, it seems fun, but at the same time, I feel like it would be really, really hard because you're competing against all these other established events that people love so much. And uh, then and then it would be really frustrating if you can't get anybody to participate. So that's probably what's holding me back a little bit on that idea. Anyway, that's my discussion thought, thoughts I've been having lately about one of the problems I think find in booktube and it's a good problem to have I, I you know i always say it's better to have too much stuff going on than not enough or be too busy than to be bored or be you know have i mean having so many books to read is a good thing but it can kind of cause a little bit of stress a little bit of anxiety sometimes especially if you're not a huge fast reader and you do have to fit it in between so many other things in life which is what i feel like i am doing i I don't understand why I'm not, why I can't read more than I do because I should be able to, but life is so crazy. I just do what I can and try not to worry about what everyone else is doing and just have fun with what I'm doing. That's my main mindset with how to combat all this. I would love to know what you guys think and how you deal with that FOMO feeling when you see all the fun things that are going on with BookTube. And you can't really do it all. Let me know. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.